Hello my lovelies, welcome back to the channel. Today I thought I would show with you the fragrances that were the best purchases of this year so far and let me tell you I own too many fragrances and I shouldn't be buying any but these made me jump the gun and still buy them or get another one to let go of that one and get this new one so these are that good that I still purchase them and I do try to limit myself because let's be honest although I talk about fragrances here on this channel it can get to be a bit of an overwhelming hobby because I last time I counted I had over 800 fragrances and it is a bit crazy but I love them all so these are the ones that this year in my opinion were totally worth to get them and they each have something very special so if you love perfumes subscribe to this channel and let's go with the first one this baby it is tonka cola mancera this fragrance it is so good it's still quite full because this is a potent fragrance okay this you only need two sprays really uh, and it's such a good one what made me jump the gun with this one is that it is a tonka cola fragrance and i love coca-cola okay but I know better than to drink it. <laughs> so I used to, when I was like about 12, I would absolutely go crazy and drink so many in a day. Oh my gosh, I had like just shakes from all the sugar and caffeine, but I love Coca-Cola, okay? But then I just decided not to drink it because I mean, it's got so much sugar, but I will get my fix of Coca-Cola in a fragrance and i love the scent of it this is my guilty pleasure it's so good it's this warm ambery um cola but then it's very nice and indulgent syrupy tonka in this fragrance it's to me a perfect full fragrance and it's very strong it's totally worth the money i love mancera fragrances because they're not serious at all they're like fun, happy, modern fragrances and this one is one of my new favorites from them. Another scent that is totally worth worth it to me this year to be adding this fragrance to my collection is Mercurial, Mercurial, I can't say that word, Mercurial Cashmere from Elictimus and this scent is one that I find very central. It's one of those that when I smell I can really see like velvet, just really luscious, silky, beautiful soft materials. I don't know what it is but it evokes that feeling in me of like being super confident. It also has got a bit of a sparkling opening, a bit like Sprite, but then it settles into this super creamy, delicate, petally light vanilla with lovely white florals, but it's very musky. It's not a loud fragrance at all. It's more of like close to you, but it's so comforting and beautiful and very feminine and sensual. So love this one. And I think if you love white florals, then you'll absolutely love this one as well. By the way, let me know in the comments how many fragrances do you have currently on your wish list? Because I know some people watching me are as obsessed as I am, but my list is basically never ending and it's a problem. And I actually forget about fragrances. I might like fall in love with them. And then I'm like, I didn't put it on my list. And then I forgot about them. And then like a couple years later, I'm, uh, I'll be like, oh my gosh, I was meant to buy this one. And I love it so much. So it's, I just love so many sometimes. I don't know if I've spoken about certain fragrances on this channel yet, but let me know how many fragrances I are on your current wish list. Next fragrance that is one of those that I just mentioned. It was on my wish list and I kind of forgot about it, but every time I smelled this fragrance or something very similar that I'll mention, I was obsessed with it and I never owned it, but owning it made it... I'm now even more in love with this fragrance um, because of just how easy it is to wear. I, I knew I loved it, but I just love it on a whole another level and it is 40 knots by Zerzhov. 
this fragrance when it was a bit warmer. I mean, I wore it a couple of days straight and I usually don't do that. I try to rotate my fragrances with a different one every single day, but sometimes I just can't help myself. And this fragrance is that good. It's this, it's this fresh, but super unique freshy, and it's very uh, intense as well, which I love for a freshy because quite often they just freshy disappear off your skin. This one is this spicy aquatic rose freshy. It's so divine, it's cooling, it's just mouthwateringly good, and um, a fragrance that is very similar to it, I would say, is Ambre Nuit from Dior Private Line, but I do like this a bit more. I don't know why, but I love both. I love this a bit more, and this is just such a good one. Even now when it's a bit colder, if I want something fresh, then this is like your freshy that can be also worn not in the summer it's not like a summer exclusive freshy it's just so unique and so so good next scent is actually i don't know if i've talked about this one on the channel i literally don't know so let me know but this scent is a one that i fell in love with on a shopping trip and I took a photo of it because I always take a photo if I'm like super impressed with a fragrance. And I was like, what is this brand? I don't know this brand. And this fragrance is super hyper amazing. And I got it. So it's Moresque. Yes, it's Moresque Seta. I've never seen this brand before. And then I saw it in Harvey Nichols. And it was like at the top, like only three bottles. And I was like, what is this? And man this I wore the other day and it's so indulgent perfect for the season now if you love gourmands oh my gosh it's this caramelly like it makes my mouth water it's that gourmand it's this caramelly marzipan like biscuity vanilla it's so indulgent but still fluffy and light mmm Oh my gosh, it does smell like a, the most delicious cookie. It does have that cookie quality to it, but I would say it also has got a very nice nuttiness to it, which makes it even better in my opinion. It's very intense and you can like you can just feel like this is a little scarf of a fragrance when you wear it and i definitely wear it a lot this fall winter time because this is the perfect fragrance and i do have a lot of ambery fragrances but they are a bit more of that like refined old world classic amber scent this is more like amber vanilla just a gourmand, very gourmand take on that. And I just love it for that. Another scent that is one of the best purchases. And this one, I'll say the brand gifted me this uh, bottle, but I absolutely love it. And I would say this is my favorite Creed and I'm very excited because they just changed the brand, changed ownership. So I'm very excited what the new ownership will do with the brand because before that, I told you guys that I wasn't the biggest fan of the Creed women's line, but this is the fragrance that I think is about to change that because it's truly like more on the gourmand side. They haven't had like a truly gourmand fragrance like that. Um, and it's just that black cherry opening. It's so good. And it's basically like a very musky rose scent all the way through, but it's so good. It's so attractive. It's so easy to wear. And I've worn it for a couple of days in a row. I'm guilty. And I've resprayed it in the evening even because this one has got good longevity, but I love that black cherry opening so much that I respray it in the evening if I just do it for the whole day. And so I love the scent. And I think if you were maybe not into Creed fragrances before, give this one a try because I truly think it's like Creed going into a different direction and I'm loving it. Next up, we've got Nishane Papilla Fico. I've worn this a ton and I love it to death. This fragrance is just worth it. Again, I fell in love with this on a shopping trip. I sprayed it and I was like, well, I have to have this fragrance. I think I got it around February this year. It was perfect for the colder season, but it's one of those that smells a bit boozy, 
it does also have it reminds me a bit of Gris Chanel but Eau de Parfum and a little bit it's not a dupe but if you like Gris Chanel then you'll love this one I promise you it's got this like just figgy woody honeyed lovely just radiance to it it's sweet but light at the same time it's not too overpoweringly sweet and it's super feminine but I would say it's one of those that is feminine but with a little I would say it's a bit different it's got a bit of woodiness in there that makes it a bit more niche smelling and a bit more out of the box it's not as like a um, pretty fragrance this has got a bit more substance to it which I love and what makes it for me like worth the money it's totally like a different scent and every time I have worn it I got a compliment this year for it so that also goes to testify that other people love it as well next up is a fragrance that I'm literally obsessed with and I hope this brand sees this and like wants to work with me because I love this scent so much it is ingenious ginger this you can tell like half of the bottle is gone <laughs> it's so good I wear it my husband wears it this is a sparkling ginger fragrance it's super fun it's fresh it's one of those easy going fragrances that you just can wear to any occasion but you know you smell unique, you know this is like an easy going fragrance, it's just the best. I mean if you need a new freshie in your uh, fragrance wardrobe, this one is truly so unique, so fun and I love this fragrance so much, it just makes me so happy. By the way I'll link all of these fragrances down in the description and also samples for them if you want to go ahead and sample any of them. Next one is a bit one of the and um, I think it's a bit harder to find overall but I'm in love with this brand and I've gotten a few fragrances from them and this one is from Granado and it's called Bohemia and it's a Brazilian fragrance house and it's not easily accessible here in the UK, only I think Liberty stocks them. But I've gotten a comment from one of my Brazilian view viewers saying that it's super popular in Brazil. So I'm glad that I'm discovering something that is super popular uh, over there. But this fragrance brand is really good and they've got like house fragrance products as well. So anything that you want you can pick up in your like house product as well this fragrance bohemia i love because it's ambery it's just so high quality i actually want to wear this today it's one of those fragrances that is just super intense it's ambery it's a bit boozy it's spicy but everything is done in such a light and great way to make it super wearable because I find I don't know if it's only me but amber fragrances sometimes for me are a bit hard to wear like I'm just rarely in the mood to wear like a proper like thick amber fragrance because I can feel that it can be a bit too much sometimes for me so I have to be in the mood and then I'm like oh I love it this one is like this ambery fragrance that you can wear every single day and never get bored of so that's why I appreciated this one so much mm, cinnamon mm, love it and another fragrance that I got to discover this year and I got to discover the whole line of Suspiro. <laughs> I mean, it's amazing because I worked with a fragrance retailer over on my men's channel and I got to discover the whole range. And this fragrance is the one that I think I'm the most obsessed with. This is just so good. It's called Pastiche, Pas Pasticcio? Pasticcio from Suspiro. And then I love the velvet on it as well. This is it's edible oh my gosh it's like this nutty coconut fig spiciness and a bit of this like shower freshness as well in there oh my gosh it's just absolutely divine and it's one of those fragrances that I haven't smelled anything like this before so I want to smell like this because it's one of those notes like sandalwood, coconutty sandalwood, it's one of those notes that I love in a fragrance but I'm not, I don't find find them often in fragrance brands. It's this, 
makes it just this is like a raffaello sort of a fragrance it's so so good it's nutty it's creamy it's everything you want in a fragrance and if you love this sort of vibe if you love like santal complet from fragrance de bois for, for example and you want a more creamy and intense version of that with added nuttiness i mean what is better than this I love this fragrance so much and I'll be wearing it at on and if I'm getting this reaction for a fragrance that's why it's being added to my collection and this one is definitely a keeper and I just love it. Mm. Man you have to discover it! Let me know what is your favorite fragrance that you've added to your collection so far this year and whether you're planning to add more as I mentioned before. Uh, I'm over on Instagram as well, where I share a bit more about my life and fragrances as well. So if you've got any questions, you can pop them on there in the comments as well. And it's Monica Tjoch, just my channel name uh, on Instagram. And I'll see you in the next one.